Hello, my name is Dr. Gajendra Purohit and you are watching YouTube channel. Today I will be teaching you numerical integration, which is very helpful for BSc and engineering students. If you are preparing for any exam where higher mathematics is asked, then our channel is very helpful. Today we will talk about numerical integration where we have triposital rule, we also have Simpson, one third rule and three by eight rule and Weddell's rule. When should we use these rules? I will try to explain them. CSIR net and gate exams have a lot of questions based on this. It's very helpful for those students. So let's start. We'll talk on numerical integration. Area bounded by the curve fx and the x-axis between the limit a and b is denoted by this. Sometimes in exam, you are given x data and you are given a particular corresponding data for that. And you are asked what is the area, then ultimately you will have to use integration. Question which comes in exam, it directly has a table where x will be given and fx will be given and you will be asked, what is the value of integration of this function from this limit to this limit, right? Normally whenever for any function. When we integrate, the function should always be continuous. But if we have discrete data given, we can still integrate the function. In that case, we get an approximate value and not the exact value. So students keep in mind that numerical analysis is a kind of a subject where any type of data is given. From that, we are calculating the value of anything, whether it is integration or whether it is differentiation, whether we are talking about roots. It always gives an approximate value, not the exact value. For particular case, it can give exact value if we talk about trapezoidal rule, fx function is given and that is linear. Meaning polynomial is of one degree, then it always gives correct answer. Like there is Simpson one third. So if there is a polynomial of two degree and integration is asked, then in that case, it gives the exact value, right? Whatever data is given. If we have a Simpson three by eight rule here and a third degree polynomial there, then it gives the exact value, right? But if we don't have any linear relationship, meaning there is no quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial or any linear polynomial, then the answer in that case is not exact value, but it will be approximate, right? Such questions also come. Like what is the difference between exact and approximate value? Ultimately, there is one more thing that will come to your mind that for numerical integration, why three to four formulas are used? Why do we use trapezoidal, Simpson one third, three by eight? Here, what happens is whatever integration limit we have, we break it down within the interval. There is no condition here. When we talk about trapezoidal rule, the interval can be divided into any number of parts, whether it is odd or it is even. Okay. And if you use Simpson one third rule, I will tell you in upcoming videos where you can break the intervals in multiples of two, which means even number of intervals. So like four, six, eight, and so on. And the Simpson three by eight, that is in multiple of three, right? We will read further, I will try to explain to you. Normally, when we do integration of any function, then the limit that we have here, so first we divide it into intervals, right? We divide it into small intervals. Here, what is the formula? In how many intervals can we divide it into? What will be the difference? We have the formula. H is equal to upper limit minus lower limit divided by N. We divide it like this, like you are told. Let's say from 1 to 2.4 is given. Let's say there is a function given and you are asked to divide it into six intervals and seven intervals or you are asked to divide it like into four intervals, understood students. So what will be H? What will happen? Let's say you are talking about dividing it into four intervals, upper limit minus lower limit divided by what will it be here? It will be four. If you are asked to divide this into two intervals, then the value of H here would be 2.4 minus one divided by two, right? This is what we have here, a method, a way to divide into intervals. Now, I will give you a question. I will try to explain through question. First, try to understand trapezoidal here. What is the formula for trapezoidal? If we have any function given like y or fx, sometimes we can also write it as from x0 to x0 plus nh fx dx. Okay, so from here, what is the formula that we have? h first term plus last term divided by two plus remaining terms, right? So here we have its formula, right? It is like this. Sometimes this formula is written like this. It is H by two first term plus the last term, right? Plus two multiplied by the remaining term. In some books, this formula is given and in other two is taken as common. So both are same, right? What we need to do here in the question X and FX will be given or in case it is not given, then value of FX will be given. We need to do this for all intervals of x and then we put the value in fx. We will get the corresponding y0, y1, y2, y3, yn. 
put that in the formula and that would be our answer right now i told you that whenever the relationship between x or fx is linear then in this case the answer is always exactly true meaning the exact answer comes right the tripositive rule can be applied to any number of sub interval right there is no particular condition for odd even students if you are asked in any question that divide it into five intervals or seven intervals then in that case this will be used because we can neither use simpson 1/3 here nor we can use 3/8 Sometimes in exam it is given by the name sometimes it is not given by name so you have to think that which one we can use which is according to the sub interval right so let's try to take more question here is a question we use the tripositive rule to evaluate the following integral and after finding the true value of the integral compare the error you know what we have to do here we need to find the value of its integration from our integration concept from that we need to find its value using tripositive rule then we need to compare it here right we need to compare and tell exactly how much is the error first the interval was not mentioned here so this interval here depends on you you can divide it into three intervals six intervals or four intervals it's up to you right but i would request you whenever such a question comes divide it into six intervals as the case of six intervals can be used in tripositive simpson 1 by third and 3 by 8 rule hence try to take six intervals so that there is no doubt right now unless it is said in the question if it is said in question that divide in four equal intervals so then we have to do four if they don't mention anything then do six so we don't have to think a lot so students how will we divide it into intervals i told you h is equal to upper limit minus the lower limit divided by what will come here it will be six right so this will be 1.2 divided by six that is equal to 0.2 right so students what will we do here we will take log x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 now what will happen here from where do we start we start writing from 4 so it will be 4 then we'll keep adding 0.2 so it will be 4.2 so this will be 4.4 then this will be 4.6 then this will be 4.8 then this will be 4. Point. here in this we will add 4.2 so this will be 5 so this will be 5 and this will be 5.2 that means start and end should be from this here corresponding to this from here we will find the value of y corresponding to this y0 will come y1 will come y2 will come y3 will come y4 will come y5 and y6 will come what is the value of y0 it is log 4 see where we have x write it there so what will be this it will be log 4.2 this way if we find this value it will be log 4.4 and if we calculate this will be log 4.6 If we calculate like this, it will be log. It will be 4.8. If we take its value, it will be log 5. If we take this, it will be log 5.2. Now, because we have log base e given here, you have a calculator, so you can find its value from here. Now, what do you have to do? We have this y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6. We will find the value of its integration from 4 to. It will be 5.2 log e x dx. What is the formula for this? Normally, we write h by 2 here. first term plus last term what will come the first term is y0 plus y6 and 2 multiplied by the remaining term so it will be y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 right students so what we will do students we will put all these values using the calculator the value of h here it will be 0.2 we will put all the values we will get the answer by the help of tripositive rule what should we do first we need to integrate this and then here we need to compare both the answers let us solve this what will be the answer everything what i said it is mentioned here the value of log 4 value of log 4.2 i have calculated them here by the help of calculator here what we did h by 2 first term plus last term 2 into and then same we will put all these values then what will we get here this will be the answer clear now let's talk about that if we do this by integration right if you are told that this is the approximate value of this integration that we have now we will find a true value meaning we'll find the exact value so what we will do here for the concept of numerical integration this has come now we will perform actual integration which we do in real analysis here the define integral is from 4 to 5.2 what is this log ex here take this 1 into dx what we will do here we will apply i late 1 and 2 okay we will take part 1 and part 2 then based on that we'll do integration so what will we do here so we left log ex so we will do integration of 1 minus what we have left out differentiation of that left out part is done here then what we will do here is we will do dx and dx will be done of this whole part then we will have the limit here it will be 4 to 5.2 right what will we do here this will be x 
log e x minus when will do it then we'll get 1 upon x x will come dx will come and then here we have from 4 to 5.2 so x and x are cancelled now this will be x log e x minus x here x x will be cancelled dx will be 1 then it will be from 4 to 5.2 here upper limit minus lower limit it will be 5.2 log 5.2 minus 5.2 right this is the upper limit minus the lower limit so what will we do it will be 4 log e4 minus 4 now students if we calculate its value then the value we will get from here you have to find its value by calculator so students the value we will get is 1.827847 what do we have this here this value will come the value that will come it is the exact value this value will be the approximate value difference between these two actually what happens is whatever is the answer let's say value of this integration will be the exact value and what do we have here approximate value what do we have here it is the error right if you are told error so what will come here it is exact value minus approximate value is it clear so if we find the difference between these two we will get 1.827847 minus 1.827655 so the answer that we will get here it will be 0 0.0001924 so what do we get here this will be the error in this way, we can easily solve these types of questions which comes in CSIR net. Gate exam, if you are preparing for any competitive exam, these types of questions can be asked. Here, this is asking to compute value of this following integral by tripositive rule. The interval is not mentioned here. So, what we will do? We will divide it into six intervals. If four was mentioned, then we will divide it in four intervals. What should we do? Upper limit minus lower limit divided by six. This will be 0.2 and we will do same process. It will be x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. We will start point 0.2 from x0. Start adding point 0.2 to all of these continuously. Because it is the value of h, so it will be point 0.4. This will be point 0.6. This will be point 0.8. This will be 1. This will be 1.2. And this will be 1.4. Corresponding y0 will be here. This is y, right? Here this y0 will come as it will be sine 0. Point 0.2 minus log e, 0 0.2, right students plus e to the power of 0 0.2. Solve this on calculator, the value that will come, it will be. This value, this value, this will be 0.2. And when we will simplify it, then it will become y0. Put 0.4 here, here and here. Then this value will come and will solve it. If we put it here, y1 will come. So in this way, y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6 will come. What we will do is find the value. So what we will do, pay attention. The integration that is here, it is 0.2 to 1.4. This will come as sine x, then log e x plus e power x into dx is equal to. What will come here? It will be h by 2. This will be first term plus last term plus 2 multiplied by the remaining terms. It will be y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5. Is it clear students? So what will be the value here? h is given as 0.2 by 2. Then we will take values of these y0, y1, y2, y3 and put them here. Then we will get the answer. I will show you in next slide. We will put the value, all these values. After putting these values, the answer will be 4.07152. If you are asked what is the exact value of this, then we have to do integration and we will find the exact value of this here, right? Exact value will come by this. This will be integration of sine x log x. This will come as e power x and apply upper limit minus lower limit concept. And then here the value of x will be 4.0509. This will be the value that will come. And the approximate value that will come is 4.07152. We will get the error on calculating the difference between these two. In this way, we can do it very easily. Before going forward, I would like to tell you that if you are preparing for CSIR NetGate IIT JAM exam, so our books are available on Amazon and Flipkart. You can see them here. See the next question. Evaluate 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square by the help of tripositive rule. Remember students, I told you if nothing is mentioned, you have to divide it into 6 intervals. So what will we do? h is equal to upper limit minus lower limit divided by 6. This will be 1. Here we have x0, x1. We will find x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6. So this will come as we will start from 0. Now start adding 1 to each. Okay, here this value will come. Right students? Now its corresponding is this. We have this as y. The value of y is 1 upon 1 plus. x square, so this will come. And what will we do? Value of y0 will be 1 upon 1 plus x0 square. Wherever x0 is 0, we will put 1 there. So the value of y1 will be 1 upon 1 plus the square of x1. It will be 1 upon 1 plus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2. This will be 0.5. 
Now we will find the value of y2, it will be 1 plus 1 by 4, which is the same as x2 square. It will be 1 by 5, from here this value will be 0.2. In this way, we will find the value of y3. It will be 1 plus 9, which is 10, 0.1 will come. If we calculate the value y4, we will get 16 plus 1, which is 17. Here value of 0 0.058 will come. Then we will calculate the value of y5. It will be 25 plus 1, which is 26. This x square, which means 25 plus 1 is 26, right? So its value will be 0 0.0384. We will find value of y6. We will get 36 plus 1, which is 1 by 37. 1 by 37 will come. This value will be 0 0.0270. What is this here? This is the value for this. We will apply formula. What is the formula here? What happens whenever we are given any integration from 0 to 6? This will be 1 upon 1 plus x, x square dx. So this will be h upon 2. The first term plus the last term. So student, this is y6 plus 2 into the remaining term, which is y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5, right? So what is this? This is the value of h. How much is h coming? 1, right? So this will be 1 by 2. First term plus last term. So this will be 1 plus 0 0.027, right? Plus 2 into the value of y1. How much is the value of y1 coming? The value is 0.5 plus the value of y2 is 0.2 here, right? Plus y3. What is the value of y3? It is 0.1, right? Plus the value of y4 is coming to be 0 0.058, okay? Now plus here we have the value of y5. That is 0 0.0384. This is the value that will come. When you will solve this using calculator, I taught you how to use it. If you don't know, go to my previous videos of numerical analysis, learn from there. So its answer will be 1.4108. This will be the answer here. We can solve this question in this way. Sometimes in the exams, they can ask you this. What will be the exact value of this? And what will be the error? In that case, you have to integrate it. What will be the answer? From 0 to 6, 1 plus x square dx, the integration that will come, it will be this. Tan inverse x and 0 to 6. So this will be tan inverse 6 minus tan inverse 0, right students? This will be tan inverse 0. This becomes 0. This will be tan inverse 6. Now from the calculator, its value will come as 1.40564. This will be the value that will come. This is the exact value and this is the approximate value, right? So if there will be an error, what will be the error? If we talk about error, then this is the approximate value and this is the exact value. Exact value. This is the exact value. We will subtract the approximate value from the exact value. Whenever we talk about error, this comes as positive. We will take modulus. From here, we will subtract it from this. So the answer to this will be 0 0.0052. This is what we have here. It is the error. So this is how you can easily solve this question. This question is for comment section. Tell us how much time it took you to solve it. Make sure to comment. If you like these types of videos and they are helpful for your exams, please subscribe to this channel. For numerical analysis, which are my old videos, complete playlist is available here. If you are preparing CSIR NetGate IIT JAM exam, we are working on new channel. Previous year question of CSIR Net are available here. Check them out. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.